Hey everyone and welcome back to Windows Fixer. Are you tired of your computer running slower than a slot on vacations? Does it clog along like a tractor pulling a mountain of molasses? If you have a low end PC you know this struggle is real. But fear not budget warriors today's videos is all about showing you how to fix that frustrating 100% RAM or hard drive usage and get your computer running smoother. Alright, let's jump into some simple methods to free up those resources and give your PC a fighting chance. Number 1. Close background processes and find the culprit. What it is? Actually, many programs run slightly in the background even when you are not actively using them. These can eat up valuable RAM and slow down your PC. Open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC or just right click on the taskbar and open the Task Manager. Once you open it, click on the Memory tab over here. You can see, just make sure arrow is downside. Now you can see here which application is currently using your RAM resources. And if it's not important, just right click on it and click on the End Task. Right? And uh, if you are unsure what a program is, a quick Google research can usually tell you what it does and why it might be using a lot of RAM. Simply you can open any browser and then you can search. And, uh, in my case, it was Comtegia, it's a recorder. So I'm just uh, typing here. And the answer is here. Comtegia is a recording software that allows you to record and clip of whatever is happening on your screen perfectly for filming webinars or video tutorials. So that's how you can just uh, research about that specific tool. Now let's move on to step number two. Disable startup programs and background processes, especially Microsoft Edge. Now again, what it is? Many programs set themselves to launch automatically when you start your computer. This can slow down your boot time and eat up RAM. And how you can stop it? Uh, the easiest way is, there's a lot of ways, but just again right click on the taskbar in Windows 11 and Windows 10 both. Once you click here, go into the startup programs. Now here's all the programs are listed. Just make sure arrows down. And now just find the thing that you actually that is not important just like disable 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 and that's how you can disable the startup programs now specifically on both windows 10 and windows 11 microsoft edge can sometimes run in the background even if you are not using it you can close it in the task manager like any other program but the best way is you can simply right click again uh no not right click you need to launch the microsoft edge and then click on these three dots once you click over there just go into the settings and then on the right side you will see here the system and performance now here you can see continue running background extensions and app when microsoft edge is closed you need to actually uncheck all these options even startup boost so you need to uncheck all these options these are not important and it will actually affect your performance once you uncheck all these options just close it and this time when you open your task manager your microsoft edge will not appear over here but in windows 10 mostly it's still working just because of the copilot now uh as I mentioned launching the Windows 11 with Git, especially the AI Copilot can automatically restart Microsoft Edge in the background. Be sure to close it again in the Task Manager if this happens. Whenever you just launch the Copilot, just go into the Task Manager and find the uh, Microsoft Edge and close it. Now step number 3, Disable Sysmin, especially for HDD and older RAM users. Sysman is a service that monitors how you use your programs and try to pre-load them for faster startup. Now, why do disable on low-end PC only? Actually, on low-end PCs, especially uh, one with a hard disk drive user and the older RAM like DDR2 or DDR3, Sysman actively can actually slow things down. The constant access to the hard drive can create bottleneck and that's the reason you need to uh, disable the sysmin but make sure 
uh, we will provide instruction in this video but it's not important to note that disabling sysmin service can have unintendedly sequences only do this if you are comfortable and experiencing high ram usage what you can do here click on the windows icon and then search here for services and then open it once you are here simply you need to press uh, select any service and then press s key from your keyboard until you will get here the sysmin and then right click on it go into the properties and then startup types just set it set here disable and then click on stop and hit apply and ok and the older operating system like the windows 10 older versions uh, maybe they don't have the sysmin but they have the super prefetch just select any service search for super prefetch and disable it and that's the way you can do these steps now the last option is uh, use microsoft pc manager now it's a optional it's not a rec recommended but uh, microsoft pc manager is a free tool that can help you clean up temporary files optimize uh, your startup and troubleshoot performance issues um why actually i'm recommending this uh, unlike some third-party pc cleaning tools like microsoft pc manager is a safe and legitimate options it focuses on practically ways to improve performance and boost your uh, system uh, uh, speed uh, remember uh, although the video emphasized that these are steps to take if you are experiencing high ram usage but test each solution and see what works best for your specific system i will see you in the next video until then just take yourself a lot of peace bye bye